welcome to a new vlog. If you're new here, my name is Megan. I'm a library assistant. Um, if you're not new, welcome back. I thought I would do something interesting. So the reason I'm starting this vlog in my vehicle is because I kind of got this idea while I was at work and I thought I would just get this out of the way now before I got home. So, New Brunswick just had a wonderful wind slash rainstorm last night. Um, didn't think anything was going to happen because literally a week ago we um, had a storm and it didn't really do much. Nothing really happened. And so didn't think anything was going to happen, you know, some wind, some rain, whatever. We didn't lose any power, wasn't a lot of damage, whatever. Last night, so literally get to work, it's pouring rain, I can hear the wind on my window at work in my office, and I'm like, okay, hey, whatever. It's starting to pick up, not too bad when I left work, but not like super great. Uh quarter after five I have supper Andrew didn't have supper because he was like oh I'm not hungry I'm gonna eat a little bit later 5 45 we lose power it's pouring rain at this point wind it's like slanting um yeah lost power there was no warning there was no flickering or anything it just kind of cut so there was uh, when we woke up, well, when I woke up this morning, uh, it was 106,000 people in the province without power. So just to give people some perspective, um, that's about a seventh of the entire population of the province. There's only about 700, maybe 800,000 people in the province now. Um, so yeah, that's like a lot of people without power. Most of it in the Fredericton area, um, this like yeah, I think we're technically, I want to say we're like southwest, central southwest sort of area in the province. So Andrew's working from home. He's told me we're still without power. I've been like obsessively refreshing the MB Power page. Our area is not even like, they're not even looking at it right now. Um... So I thought I would do a reading vlog, like a blackout reading vlog sort of thing. About 80,000 people are without power now, but I thought I would do like a reading vlog until we get power again. So first of all, I'm going to tell you what I've been reading. Um, I have been kind of co-reading Rich People Problems by Kevin Kwan. Um, that's been my audiobook. I've been listening to it on the way to and from work, um, while I'm working, and The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. So The Assassin's Apprentice I've been reading on Libby, and I've also been doing the same thing with Rich People Problems, um, but audiobooks, obviously. So that's what I've been reading. Also, because you guys know that I was reading Malice, I finished Valor by John Gwynn, DNFing the series. I cannot, it was just, I cannot, it felt very two-dimensional to me. It, like tropes can be done in a good way. I just felt like it was just so two-dimensional. I could not care about what happened. I could not care. It, mm, Valor had more action happening, but it was, it just felt like you went from one battle to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, and there was no depth. I didn't care about the characters. There was no emotion. It just like, stuff happened. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. Returning all of my books to the library. Canceled the hold on the last book. So that's where we're at. Rich People Problems. Assassin's Apprentice. That's what we're reading. So yeah, we're going to read until the power comes back on. And I 
think I'm at... I think I've got three and a half hours left of whatchamacall, crazy, or not crazy rich Asians, um, rich people problems <coughs> left on my audiobook, and I did a little bit more reading for Assassin's Apprentice. Um, <coughs> I'm nervous about how quickly I'm reading that, though, because I've got two people waiting for that ebook back, so I need to kind of haul ass. Um, we still don't have power, as you can see. Um, Andrew was able to get a generator from someone that he knows, so we do have a generator. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but we've got our freezer and our fridge plugged into it, which is nice because that was our biggest worry because we just did like a pretty big grocery rant run and stocked up the freezer. And so we didn't want to like waste a hundred dollars of meat. And then also we've got the cat water fountain plugged in because the cats felt so bad because they use this water fountain most of the time and they were like trying to drink water, but there's no water running. So it was so sad just like trying to hear them lick dry plastic. So even though we do have like, like, like bowls of water for them obviously so that was something that he plugged in it was like a non-negotiable that needed to be um plugged in <laughs> but yeah we're still not really 100 percent sure <laughs> where was she um so we're not really sure what we're gonna do for supper because the stove isn't plugged into the generator and we don't really want a whole bunch of stuff plugged into it because obviously we're not trying to like break it it's not ours so um we'll probably make a run for the fast foods <coughs> and get some food we've got a little space heater going as well just to try to warm up the house because we're currently at about 14 and a half degrees celsius I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, probably like 50 or something, something like that. Um, but yeah, that's how cold it is in this house. So we've got all the blankets. I don't know if you guys can see or not because it's quite dark. But all the blankets, all the layers, socks, slippers, <laughs> everything. But yeah, it's basically estimated that most of our town should get their power back Saturday. So there goes all my Christmas baking that I was planning on doing on Friday on my day off. So we'll see. One more day of work, and which means one more day of a warm building. <laughs> but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Hello, it's Thursday, um, December 21st, so I wore a hat today to work because I couldn't have a shower this morning. It's power still out and we didn't have our hot water heater obviously, so um, there was no water for a shower. So we're slate, slated to get power back tomorrow night, I guess. I haven't had a hot shower since Monday. I did shower Wednesday, but it was lukewarm because Tuesday we got a little bit of electricity and then it went out after about 10 minutes. So yeah, last night it got really cold it's been really cold the last few days and then woke up to like 12 degrees this morning so it's not great to say the least so I think I am actually bringing home a space heater from my office because it's larger than the one that we have at home 
and hopefully this will be able to kind of get the air circulating a little bit. Andrew said he got the temperature up to 14 and a half. So that's good, but yeah, really concerned about, we have like a ton of plants, so really concerned that the plants are going to die and we have like probably a hundred plants, like a ton of plants. And um, so yeah, so worried about the plants, worried about pipes freezing, and worried about our kitties. So um, we are happy, I think I told you guys last night, um, we were able to get a generator, Andrew got a generator from some friends. So the freezer we're not too concerned about, it's mostly just like keeping the house warm at this point and keeping the cats warm, the pipes warm, us warm. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm not going to be doing my baking this weekend, I guess. I was planning on doing a bunch of Christmas baking tomorrow and that's not happening. So anyway, it's freezing. I'm going to get home, get this space heater to Andrew so we can get that plugged in and get it warming up the house. Um, book updates. I have about half an hour left of my Rich People Problems audiobook, so I'm gonna listen to some of that on the way home and finish that another, probably tonight, actually. The Assassin's Apprentice. I am at 37, 40% of that book, so we're getting there. It's really good. I'm really enjoying it, I will say, um, so really happy so far. Anyway, let's go. Christmas vacation has started, so there's no reason to be here any longer than I have to be. Still no power. It's great. This is our like fourth full day without power, so we ran out of cat food, so I just got some. I'm currently in line at Tim Hortons. I'm gonna get a coffee for Andrew, hot chocolate for myself, and probably some donuts. Um, we've been basically living off of takeout and like instant noodles all week. Um, so, yeah, it ain't great. We are supposed to be getting it. We've been keeping an eye. There are supposedly crews in the area, but haven't seen any yet. So I'm after Tim Hortons. I'm going to go get some gas for the generator. Um, surprisingly, we've been doing really well with it. We haven't really had to like fill it up too, too much. Like it does really well and we don't have like a lot really hooked up to it. So it's lasting a really long time, which is nice, but yeah. It's great. We're loving life. It got really cold last night, so we woke up to a house that was nine and a half degrees Celsius, which is about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take, I guess. So it ain't fun, but yeah, we're gonna get some drinks here to bring home, and the kitties have been cuddling, which is nice, so. have power. Energy is back. We're so excited. We got it last night around six o'clock and literally the first thing we did was have a shower. It, yeah, it was so gross. You definitely don't realize how much you enjoy having electricity and how much we use it until it's gone. Um, but I just wanted to do a recap of all of the reading that I did while we had this outage. So I did finish Rich People Problems by Kevin Kwan, and I absolutely loved it. Four out of five stars, as always. Um, I really love the formatting, the humor, etc. And it's read by Lydia Look, and the way that she read it was so good. I was so uncertain because there's like footnotes and stuff in like in the book that you kind of have to read um because they added context obviously and like some humor and stuff but I 
wasn't sure how that was going to be incorporated and I thought it was done really really well so definitely recommend those audiobooks if you're interested um and also I am now on page 289 of 393 for the assassin's apprentice the way that um I have it formatted on my Kobo so I'm I don't know maybe like 68 70% um completed and I'm still really really enjoying it I'm really excited to get to the rest of the series um so hopefully we'll see we'll see maybe I'll actually finish it over the holidays but anyway I want to let you guys just know what's happening we have power we have heat um we have electricity we've got our like our wi-fi and everything is still working so really excited really happy about that it was incredibly stressful and it yeah literally we saw like the MB power trucks drive by and we were both like we were like dogs we were so on alert and just like restless waiting for the electricity to come back on and as soon as it did like i i kid you not i could have cried it was such a happy moment like going four and a half days without electricity and he definitely wears on you and i'm very happy that i have the partner that i do that we were both very supportive of each other and we were lucky enough that we were able to purchase food um almost every night and we were able to borrow a generator and we were able to afford to put gas in that generator and we had family that was supporting us um because obviously not everyone has that option and i know some people were going to hotels and like having to book themselves into a hotel a hotel room because of how cold it was getting like we woke up i think i told you guys and it was like nine and a half degrees in the house yesterday and like it's freezing like that was so cold we were buried under blankets all day we literally had the space heater like pointed at us and i don't think it got above like 12 and a half degrees it was pretty gross and so i'm really happy it wasn't any colder than it was i'm really happy that the weather wasn't any worse than it was that the weather was going to be like making things worse for like the hydro guys the linesman and the arborist did an amazing job um, getting as much power on as they did so we're very thankful for them and yeah anyway i just want to give you guys the update let you know that we have electricity i've done some reading so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>